The labour of love, one film enthusiast's extraordinary quest to keep the magic alive. These things are like vintage cars. When they're running, they talk to you. Now, some people collect stamps, others treasure coins. But David McGowan's pride and joy took six semi-trailer loads to assemble. His shed in country New South Wales is humming with historic cinema equipment. It's a big job caring for the collection, but he says it's a labour of love. He hopes to teach future generations about the golden age of cinema. Inside a large country shed, vintage projectors roll smoothly under David McGowan's careful watch. The 71-year-old has been reassembling the machines after acquiring a huge private collection of old cinema equipment from Queensland. I grew up in this industry, I know this industry backwards. Uh, so it wasn't a chore, it was a labour of love. David thinks it's the largest collection of its kind in Australia. It's already taken six semi-trailer loads to move it all. And there's more to come. I could spend hours up here just pottering around like an old man. And I thoroughly enjoy it. The projectors range from 100-year-old hand-cranked machines of the silent era through to examples from the 1960s and 70s. These things are like vintage cars. When they're running, they talk to you. This is one hot projector head, this. There are also hundreds of reels of film to clean and sort. As the projectors are tested, old slides Features and commercials come to life. We've seen vinyl making a comeback, and during this COVID period, we've seen cinemas that still have 35 and 70 millimeter projectors being able to rescreen classic movies that way. The film buff also owns a local cinema, which he's reimagined as a 1950s style picture palace. Over the years, David McGowan has continually added to the lavishly decorated theatre. He says he likes to help people escape to a different time. I love sharing the experience of when we used to go to the movies, not uh, just watching something on a white screen. I, I enjoy the theatrical experience. In a digital age, he wants future generations to know how it all began. Emma Ossian, ABC News, Lauriton.